Hey, what is up guys? It's Adam from Boost HD here. First off, I'd like to apologize for this whole handheld microphone thing going on here. My actual microphone, which is the Audio Technica ATR 2500, decided it was going to go ahead and pack up on me. So temporarily, I'm just going to have to use my iPad, or sorry, my iPad for uh, recording this video and a few other videos until the end of the month, until I go ahead and replace the microphone or somehow repair it. But anyway guys, this video is going to be the new room tour slash setup tour for 2015 and beyond. So any further ado guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. You're watching Boost HD with your host Adam Lubin. Okay, guys, so I'm pretty much going to start at the beginning with the setup. So, uh, right here, I've just got the same TV, it's that Sanyo HD Ready 720p TV. And then to the bottom right hand side, I've got two uh, LS11 speakers actually. Uh, doubling up as a part of a surround system that I've got going on behind me so I've got those two front driver speakers there I've got of course the TV remote for the TV and then below that I've got my PS3 the 320 gigabyte slim version I've got my HD PVR with I guess you can see that's kick-ass the DVD just chilling on top of there I've got the subwoofer for the LS uh, the LS22 speaker, sorry, which is going to be behind me. And then to the right of that, I've got my multi station printer. It's a basically it's a brother printer with a copier, a scanner, and of course the printing feature as well. If you move up to the right, I have the Helmer office drawers. You get six drawers with this unit, and this is all from IKEA. Same with this uh, LAC coffee table. Uh, the majority of the furniture in here is actually going to be from IKEA, I forgot to note as well. So this is going to be uh, the helmet office drawers, so you get six drawers there. And I'm basically just going to just store a lot of my wires and cables as you can see from the bottom there. Just basically, now this idea has actually come from a YouTuber called uh, Chris Watton from uh, CW Tech. Uh, so definitely go ahead and check him out because I actually got the idea for bagging up the cables and sliding, sliding them in the drawer from him. And moving up to the actual desk unit, as you can see, I'm trying to keep uh, things pretty minimal on the desk. So as you can see, I've just got my JVC headphones. I've got my multimedia speakers from Logitech. These are the X140s, great sounding uh, speakers, fantastic quality with good bass. To the right of that, I've got my secondary monitor, uh, which is going to be the LG, I think it's the w, uh, W6A 22 inch monitor. To the right of that, I've got my main monitor, that is the AOC F22 Plus. Uh, one's running on uh, HDMI, one's running on DVI. Then for the keyboard, I've just got a simple basic keyboard. It is just the Genius keyboard along with the mouse, so I've got the mouse to match. I've just got a, a London mouse mat just there underneath it. To the top of my monitor, as you can see, I've got the Logitech again, so it's in the Logitech project, it's the Logitech, uh, Logitech, sorry, Logitech C270 webcam 720p, so it's HD ready and it's also good quality as well, especially when you've got decent lighting conditions. So moving on to the PC itself, I have touched upon the specs uh, in some of, my, some of my previous videos. Uh, the actual uh, processor for this PC is going to be the AMD FX4000 series, clocked at 4 gigahertz. I've also got 8 gigabytes of Corsair RAM. I've got a 550 watt power supply, an ATI Radeon HD graphics card, uh, I think it's the 6000 series. And I've also got a, what am I missing? I've got uh, just the stock uh, cooler or the fan. And that is pretty much the main specs of the PC. It hasn't got any SSD, it's just basically a one terabyte uh, H hard drive. So one terabyte hard drive in this build. I'm hoping to actually go ahead and upgrade this build as I mentioned before on my January update video. I'm hoping to go ahead and build or even get a, a built Hackintosh uh, for later in the year. So moving down onto the desk, the desk is actually a Linman corner table. Uh, so that's again from Ikea, so it's a Linman corner table and I've also got the straight piece to match which is 120 centimeters in width and then on the table I've basically got my iPod, uh, fifth generation, I've also got the Sony Xperia L and just got a spare SD card there next to it. So moving slightly back, I've got the IKEA Torkoal office chair. I used to have a bigger chair but unfortunately I don't know what happened the world and decided to snap in half so I've had to try and get rid of that and just purchase this. I may actually get a better chair in the not too distant future but this is just fine for the time being. 
And I've also got a folding chair from Ikea. It's much, just a pretty much a Ikea folding chair. There's no fancy name to that. And then at the back here, I have got uh, two pencil pots or pen pots, again from Ikea. And I've also got the Ikea document just to store away any paperwork uh, that I don't want to go ahead and file in the drawer that I want to get quick access to. Now this whole unit came together. This is the Ikea Alex drawer. This actually came with the Linman 120cm uh, tabletop. And basically this is just going to be used to just store any tech products or any of my controllers and things like that. They're pretty pretty decent uh, set of drawers. Uh, you get two shallow drawers and you get three deeper drawers at the bottom. So just basically got paperwork and all sorts of things stored away in there. I've got quite a bit more to put in there. But at the moment, just to see, I just want to see how they actually look with a few stuff in there. So that's pretty much how they look uh, with a minimal amount of equipment in those drawers. To the right, I've basically got my wardrobe here. Uh, that's pretty much just the Askvol wardrobe. Moving across, this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the surround speaker system. So I've got uh, another uh, Logitech um, LS11 speaker there and another one on the opposite side. In this small cubby hole here, I've got uh, my tripod with the Valbon flute head on top. I've got a bin, I think it's the thinnest bin from Ikea as well, it's just a, a wicker style bin. And I've got my blow heater at the bottom. So just taking a wide look at the, uh, wide look at the desk, as you can see I've got a few posters up. The main one being my canvas over here of New York. Love it, it's followed me from the old room into the new room, so I actually enjoy it. I've also got a few A3 prints up here. I've got uh, uh, Paris there, as you can see that's the Eiffel Tower. I've got Times Square from New York. I've got the typical London style phone box, uh, telephone box. I've got some anime posters over here, that's Clannad there, and that's Clannad over there as well. And I've also got another poster there, Sword Art Online. Uh, a few animes that I've actually enjoyed watching. So talking about more posts, I've actually got a few at the top here. So as I mentioned in my Q&A video, I am an athlete, so of course I'm going to have some athletes for inspiration. So I've got Katrina Johnson Thompson up there. I've just got uh, House of Anubis next to it, that's actually a program I really enjoyed watching. Uh, I've got Inuyasha, there, another anime. If I move across, I've got my clock. I've got Mo Farah. I've got Bolt and Mo Farah, Usain Bolt and Mo Farah there, uh, in reverse style. I've got Robbie Grabar, famous high jumper for Britain. I've got Jessica Arenas and I've got Jessica Arenas again down there, famous heptathlete. And basically this is the Billy bookcase, uh, basically just storing all my games in there. So it's still got a few more things to put on or transfer from the old uh, bookcase, but these are going to be the main stuff I transferred over. So that's my PS2 games, PS3 games, and I've got a lot more DVDs and all sorts of paraphernalia to go ahead and add to it. So that will be coming shortly. To the right here, I've got a pendant lamp, a pendant uh, ceiling light. This was again from IKEA, but it hasn't been fitted yet. It's gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and actually order a LED bulb. So I'm gonna try and get rid of using the traditional incandescent bulbs to try and get better lighting in my videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the LED bulb if we're there. I've just got some, <laughs> some just aftershave that I actually transferred from the other room over into here. I've got a lot more, but I didn't want to clutter the table by doing that. And this is basically below, this is just my dresser unit there. Uh, this is a, again an Askful chest of drawers. You get five drawers in this unit. And that is pretty much the setup uh, as of now. I mean, the only thing I'm missing in here is my bed, which is probably going to go around here when it does arrive, my new bed. Okay, so one thing I've also forgot to mention is that I've got this cable management system going on underneath the Linman desk. Uh, as you can see, I've got what's called the Sigmund cable management rack. Uh, you can also get that from IKEA as well. And at the moment, I'm trying to actually find a strong enough adhesive to actually stick uh, the multi socket plug onto the base of the, or sorry, below the Linman desk uh, without it falling off. So I'm trying to find a strong enough ad adhesive at the moment because what I'm currently using keeps on dropping off. So I'm hoping, to ho I'm hoping to find one that's a bit stronger to support the weight of the plug socket. And that would be pretty much it. Unfortunately, I couldn't actually include the fridge in here because number one, it was too loud and it took up too much space, so I wasn't able to actually include it in my new setup. So it's going to stay in the old room, and if I really want to get a drink that desperately, I'll just walk in the room and take it out from there. But anyway, guys, this is pretty much the setup for 2015. I'm hoping to keep it quite minimal. I don't want to get it cluttered like the other one kind of did before. But this is pretty much the setup for 2015. So anyway, guys, this has been Adam from Boost HD here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more tech videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.